Our keynote speaker today is a participant, a former participant from the First Tee um, Colorado Rocky Mountains. And uh, her name is Lauren White. Ms. Lauren White, um, she is a senior at Denver East High School right now, where she excels as a student athlete. She holds a 4.37, I thought it was a typo too, um, <laughs> while being a starter on varsity basketball team, uh, varsity flag football team, ranked number one for the girls golf team, and each of these results in a varsity letter and including academic bars. She has received multiple recognitions, including the Principal's Honor Roll, Second Team All-City Golf, DPS Varsity Cup Golf Tournament third place, DPS Varsity Cup Individual Golf Tournament eighth place, Chassa First Team Academics and Basketball, Denver East Basketball, Defensive MVP. She has more honors than I do. <laughs> She's a junior for the. She's a junior coach for the first tee. To become for a junior coach of the first tee, you must go through a rigorous interview process. You must create a resume. You must have an interview in front of four people dressed up like me that are trying to intimidate you. <laughs> and she excelled. And she will tell you that it's the best summer job she ever had, or she won't be back next year. <laughs> She's a trailblazing leader who has a passion for community outreach. Her drive and motivation are unmatched. She is a positive role model for anyone who knows her. Please give a big round of applause to our next speaker, Ms. Lauren Lyon. Okay, first of all, Thank you so much for the amazing introduction. You make me sound really cool. <laughs> okay. um, again, my name is Lauren White. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard me or not, but good afternoon. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. My experience with the First T program is different from what my older brother, Matthew White, experienced. My brother spoke for this luncheon two years ago, and he shared how his experience and his favorite part about the First Tee program made him realize that golf is more than just a game, but an extended family. My experience with the First Tee has taught me, if you nurture a seed, it will grow. Matthew is the picture posted with the caption of confidence at the First Tee office. Literally. <laughs> as you guys can all see. Um, in the past, he shared how the first tea has helped him through the loss of our grandfather to carbon monoxide poisoning and the loss of our grandmother 78 days later to a broken heart. The first tea program, I'm forever grateful to the first tea program for being there for us on a personal level. While the first tea has been like a family to me, I am also grateful for how it has helped me. The first tee serves a much larger purpose. For me, the most important part of the program is how it has helped me grow and how it allows me to give back and help others grow as well. I learned that if you nurture a seed, it will grow. I started playing at the age of four under my father's instruction. My first clubs were blue bubble plastic hand-me-downs. <laughs> I always wanted clubs that were a more exciting color, but the diversity, equity, and inclusion that companies offer today was not present 13 years ago. <sighs> so, after I got stuck using the same sad plastic blue clubs, I was finally ready to get on on the course. My first class with the first tee was very intimidating, mainly due to the fact that I was nervous because no one there looked like me. Yes, there were a couple of girls, maybe one or two, but there were no other African Americans in my class. My instructor, Coach Drew, took every opportunity he could to kneel, look me in my eyes, and greet me very proactively. At the end of every session, he made sure to talk to me to ensure my return. That little bit of concern and outward attempt at inclusion was all I needed to want to continue to stay in the program. As I continued on, I was introduced to my favorite coach, Coach Katie. She was the coach who saw my potential as a player 
and would pull me aside to adjust my swing and to watch my stance. She encouraged me in so many different ways that still carry on to this day. If you nurture a seed, it will what? Grow. Okay, there we go. Over the course of many years, the popularity of golf has increased and the demographics have changed. When I was in middle school, golf was finally added to the school curriculum. When the first T program would visit neighborhood schools like mine and instructors like mine and instructors would come and talk to us about core values and golf basics. Right then and there was, been, was when I became an unofficial employee of the first T. It gave me the chance to A, demonstrate my cool middle school golf skills and to help other students in my class who were new to the game. Seeing a girl that looks like me launch the ball the furthest out of everyone in the class and the straightest encouraged others to join the classes as well. So, now I see more girls on the course and taking classes. Fun fact, our first T program is now 44% girls. <laughs> Amazing, right? If you nurture a seed, thank you. All right, I am a junior coach with the first tee, sharing my love for the game and also trying to nurture the next group of students who need it. Throughout most of history, golf courses were not very welcoming places. I hope that by introducing the game to other students who look like me, nobody will have to feel like how I did on my first day of classes. I believe that the first tee plays a crucial role in making sure that golf is accessible to anyone who wants to play. So. My hope is to see more players who look just like me while out competing at tournaments. Yes, golf is more than just a game, but I am proof that if you nurture a seed, it will grow. That seed will then become the next generation to encourage young players by not only teaching and living the core values, but by being the one who bends down and looks them in the eyes whenever they are struggling. Maybe one day, my picture will be hung next to my brother's with the caption of hard work or maybe even leadership. Thank you. Uh, we do not have uh, hard work or nurturing as a core value. However, we do have perseverance. <laughs>